Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've let you know that in Edge, Microsoft is redesigning vertical tabs with a new look and feel. Where in Edge Canary 134, which is the latest preview version, the changes are hidden behind an experimental flag called Project Jupiter. Now I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen once again. But uh, just to let you know that Microsoft has now added two new options in the Project Jupiter flag that enables the revamped version of vertical tabs. So if we just head over to our experimental flags page in Edge Canary 134 and we enter Jupiter, here's the flag and you'll see now we've got enabled, enabled transient mode and enabled switcher mode. Now these two different um, options in the flags give us two different kind of responses from the new vertical tabs. So if I enable transient mode first of all and in no particular order, you will see now that if I head up to the vertical tabs, the pane opens expanded but it's not docked and doesn't auto hard when I move my mouse away from it. So that's when it's in transient mode. Now if we head back into our experimental flags and I'll just bring up the relevant flag and now we enable switcher mode. What this does is you'll see when I click on vertical tabs the pane is docked there we go. And auto hards when you move the pointer away from it. So there we go. Auto hards. So that's the difference between transient mode and switcher mode. And this obviously is early days because we are in Edge Canary, which is an early preview version. So it's going to be interesting to see what Microsoft comes up with with this uh, new vertical tabs. I personally think it'll make its way to stable. It's much better than the old layout as far as I'm concerned. But I think which would what would be first prize is if with the vertical tabs in the settings, they do give us actual toggles to enable the um, transient mode or the switcher mode or anything else they decide to come up with when it comes to how this actually functions in the browser. And I'll keep my ear to the ground. And obviously, if those changes roll out, I'll keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.